Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on the Lost Sector Pedition. Now we're going to be doing it on the Master difficulty and this one's a pain in the backside. So void damage is increased. So you've got farming, which no drops, no ammo drops for the type that you're using. Uh, goblins drop their usual kind of pull of radiolarium. I'm going to be doing this on stasis. So I'm just showing you what I'm using for my... My... Uh, fragments and my my aspects uh, we're going to be relying on the grenade to stop the overloads now I have got overload rounds on my scout rifle as per but uh, this is made even more difficult by my weapon choice so I decided to try and do this with a rocket launcher really a rocket launcher so I don't I don't really enjoy this. I don't really enjoy this little sector if I'm being honest void damage has increased majorly Every one of the major ads does void. So we're using normal setup uh, except for the bad omens. So Nightwatch Scout, Yan 7 for the Arc Shields. Now this is this rocket launcher, the bad omens, this is the one you get when you get to rank two or three. Not when you get your rank with the drifter to rank. I can't remember if it's two or three. That is the god roll. Uh impact case and cluster tracking. I'm using a chargeable light build, which, as you'll see here, is built for the rocket launcher. So, as you can see, when you get chargeable light, you can radiate and reload it faster, and you do more damage, but you lose a stack when you do do damage. There are an absolute ton of arc shielded harpies here. So, charge, charge, the 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 charge mod that makes you chargeable light when you break a, a shield is is perfect here. Supercharge gives us more chargeable light. And we've got charged up, which gives us two charges of light every time we get one. Uh, and that's really the setup. Have I mentioned already I don't like this law sector? I think I might have. Uh, but just in case I hadn't, I don't like this law sector. I like it even less after this rim. The overload champions in here are the worst, the teleport and minotaur. But the grenade kind of makes them a little bit easier. So when you actually enter the Lost Sector, you're going to be faced with an absolute ton of harpies straight off the bat. But once you do damage, it seems as the minute you do damage, this big boy's going to come. Now normally I would try and get rid of him pretty quickly, but uh, just the damage I couldn't. So what i done was I put, put a rocket on him and then he'll teleport to the next area. As you can see, he's kind of hide and seek and all of a sudden he appears from nowhere. So I'm going to put another rocket on him, which is going to leave them with very little now i'm head glitching here because those uh see there i almost got them but couldn't quite i'm trying to head glitch these harpies now what i've noticed is because i've got well, i haven't noticed that it makes perfect sense because i've got explosive rounds on my scout once i break the shield i'm trying to switch to the scout because the scout does more damage it takes the harpies down faster so now, this first area, you've got three waves. We've That's the first wave. Move up to this kind of block here, and you'll get the second wave. And one of them is, obviously the Harpies do Void, but one of them is a, a Minotaur, which has got a massive Void Cannon. So I'm going to take him from the back. Didn't sound right, but I'm sure you understood what I meant. <laughs> uh, nightmare. So I'm going to take him from all the way at the back of the room. That's what I should have said. Uh... And, and then it's we're all good. Now we just have to take out the harpies that came in the same wave he did. And then we're going to get the overload with the sniper. So we're going to move up to here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put down my rift. And I'm going to throw my grenade, hopefully, and land it roughly where they are. Now, he never actually got stopped. So I've managed to stop him and get another grenade and throw the grenade at him. Now, the kind of cool thing is this is going to freeze him. And it's going to stop his regen. Now I could have went. I, I actually could have scout rifled him there. But you'll see. When you when you stop the overload champ. I'm just going to throw a big grenade at the bank. Try and capture the rest of these ads. When you throw. When you start scout rifling the, the overloads. When they're frozen. It's like the health doesn't really go down that much. It's almost like the the resin. The, the, they go through a little bit of health regeneration. It's like you're only ever taking down that little bit of health. That's why I just went rocket. I done this run about four or five times to get, you know, to learn the run and then, you know, perfect it. This is about as perfect a run as I actually ended up getting. 
I always end up with two rockets here. I start with eight, and I always end up with two. Famin famine's on, obviously, so you want to try and generate some heavy here. Now, we've limited ourselves because we don't have energy, so an energy weapon, so it's just kinetic and heavy. But as you can see, you will drop. But there's an overload here. I can't really go for it just yet. Now, as soon as the overload comes, I'm backing off. I want him to come down the stairs, but I'm backing off. And then when I see him teleport, I'm going to try and stop him. Throw the grenade and do the same thing. But this time, we've only got two rockets. So now, you see there, all the ads followed him. Every time I stop him, I'm going to get another grenade. And I'm going to throw the other grenade on him. You see how his health is like... It's coming down, but it's going back up. We finish him here quick. You, know, you will finish him doing that. Stopping him with that grenade... And constantly, that will constantly keep stunning them. This room is the room I didn't like. I didn't realise how much I was going to have to deal with in the final room. But this is the room I don't like. Because you get these go-go dancers. Now, I don't mind a bit of a knees up. But they're not here for a dance. So these go-go dancers, these wyvern, oh, they're just an absolute nightmare. Stopping an overload. These take more hits than a stopped overload does to kill. We've obviously got this guy, so I'll try and freeze him. And the, the freeze does take some of his health away. I thought I may have been able to break his shield. He, he the, the grenade never lasted long enough. So I end up, I've got a couple of rockets. I just put one on the ground and just kill him. You've got two barrier champions here and two go-go dancers, two wyverns. And you've still got, as you can see there, that Hydra, but the Hydra's got nothing. So I put the Rift down just to keep give myself that extra protection. A couple of crits, and and, 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 he, and he's off. We want to try and generate a bit more heavy, because we've got two barrier champions. You just see at the top of the stairs, you'll just have caught sight of that barrier. Now, the great thing is, the, these, these uh, grenades, they work really well on the barriers. Barriers cannot regenerate their shield because of the grenade, because the, the the grenade will keep freezing them. You have to hit hard and fast to, 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 to kill them. So I'm going to try. Big grenade. I'm just doing a little bit. Now I didn't realise that the grenade would stop them like that. So once I realised it, I could, I could do a little bit with the... with the... With the rocket and i just switch here to my primary and hopefully finish him lots of crits perfect so we need heavy we've got quite a bit here so as you can see now i've got six i've got out the way because when you make it over there that's when the wyverns come in as you can see there there they are it's like three rockets if you were just rocketing them so Try and freeze them. Try and, I'm trying to save rockets for the boss. Luckily, you know, we managed to take them down there. Now, because of the grenade, I couldn't really see what was what was going on there. So, I didn't want to fire the rocket. And then the wyvern have moved and it hit a structure instead. So, I'm just going to... I'm just going to reload. What I'm going to do is he fires two shots. The minute I see him fire, I'm going to allow two shots to go past. Two shots to hit. I decided uh, it's getting too close. I don't want to have to back all the way down the stairs. So now what we're left with in this area is one barrier. I've still got this brick here. So I've got one barrier. But for some reason, they were all like chanting at the door or something. I don't know what they were doing. But you turn in this corner and it's like a scene out of uh, the Blair Witch. <laughs> like all standing in the corner there. So break his shield. Uh reload the rocket and then I'm just gonna dip out and just do that get my get my rift down and just keep them once I've got the rift down I feel okay because I've got my grenade back now and I can stand and fire and the grenade will stop him he's not putting his shield up he's not even getting to generate his shield and now he's finishable we're in now we're at the boss and what I didn't realize at the master I just was like, I thought it was going to be cool. I thought it was just going to be ads and the boss and all that type of stuff. There's two barriers there. And we, I didn't realise that to start with. 
If I'd have realised it, I wouldn't have used the rockets on the boss. I'd, I would have took all the ads down first. So, I'm just kind of... Again, I just thought it was kind of cool here. Just, you know, take them down at my, my leisure. And then, one of them teleported up to my right. And I started taking a bit of damage. But So, I take him. But then, one teleports behind me. And I, I never panicked. I just thought, oh, I can't be bothered with this. So, I decided to use the super to clear the ads. Unknown to me that the second wave, there might have been a champion here actually, I, I, I didn't see it, I didn't freeze the champ, so I'm just kind of using my super just to do damage on the adds and then use the rest on the boss. And what I do here is just put a couple of rockets, now you'll see how much damage two rockets done. Three rockets would kill him. But then all these other adds come in and I was like right okay and then I noticed, wait a minute, there's a barrier over on the right. And I have no rocket launcher ammo. So I didn't really want... I didn't really want to go after this this uh, champion. More, most certainly I aren't going to go after him when the boss walks all the way up. So be very mindful. It, ammo... Your, your ammo economy... Well, kind of always does seem to dictate how well these, these boss sections go. But especially because we've got famine on. So I've managed to put a grenade, try and get up here and try and just do it. I, only, I know I only have to hit him a few times. And there we go. So I've come up here, just trying to break, try to get some grenade ammo. Uh, and break, break as many of these shields as possible and just, you know, try and clear as much, as much of the collateral as I can. But now I'm in a position where I can't go left and I can't go right. So what I'm going to have to do is get behind this box, use rifts, grenades, all the rest of it, and just do what I can against these barriers. The barriers probably took the most time to take down. So I'll put the rift, and I'm still using using my uh, pulse. Unfortunately, little ads keep coming in between me and my prey. And he regenerates fully. So, now I was kind of like, I don't know what to do. I'm scanning. I'm trying to take all the other ads to see if I can drop heavy that I can go and get. But unfortunately, this is this was the position I found myself in. So, as I say, ammo economy is going to dictate a lot here. So, another grenade. Just take any ads that are around. And as you can see, he's not he's not really getting to generate generate his uh, barrier, which is cool. I can just use my primary, which does a lot more damage than my scout rifle. Now I can take his shield. I can put another grenade. He almost got his health fully back. And this time I should be able to get him lower because, you know, of, of what we managed to do the first time. And I'm just going to have to just keep doing this. And what I ended up doing was, as you can see here, what I ended up doing was just using the pulse the whole time. Now I'm going to have to start breaking his shields. And when I can, just dodge in and out, left and right, so he doesn't get any straight shots on me. And try and let my, my grenade come back, especially for the, the, the next one. I didn't realise that when it came to the next one that I actually had heavy ammo out there. I've got my rift, so I can put that down when I feel like I'm in any real danger, which right there and I just wanted to keep this bar this barrier where he was I, I didn't want him running away another grenade should should just about do it and there we go so now what I'm gonna do is take the rest of these harpies down I know I've got another barrier on the right but I know I've got heavy so took one big hit there big enough so I'm just gonna use this use my jump get out here slide back in Get reloaded and that's that's the end of that. This barrier will go down very quickly. Just make sure you're reloaded. And then there we go. Just take his, bar take his barrier. And then I just use my super. And that's the end of the run, guys. Now, because it's because of this... I wanted to get this one out because this is the one that's here today. So it gives you guys a chance to try it. It's dropping exotic helmets. If you haven't got the exotic helmets, this is how to do it. I haven't used it. any weapons that anybody else doesn't have and as you can see i've got the astrocyte first i think it was a 61 so 
not brilliant, but still a, a relatively high, high uh, drop. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. I hope this helps you guys get past it. And until the next video, take it easy.